Clearwater's goal, our mission, is to protect the ecology of the Hudson River and the well-being of all the people that live within its watershed. And Indian Point threatens both. It is actively leaking radioactive material into the river. It's a very, very dangerous reactor. We're scared. I think that a lot of people around here are scared. Indian Point Nuclear Power Plant is located in the most populated location of any U.S. nuclear power plant, 25 miles north of Manhattan, with 20 million people living within a 50-mile radius. A catastrophic accident at Indian Point, an act of terrorism, or a disaster due to earthquake or other natural disaster could kill tens of thousands and render New York City and much of the Hudson Valley uninhabitable. However, it doesn't take an accident at Indian Point to release radioactivity into our air, water, and soil. Radiation is regularly released from Indian Point in the form of liquid, gaseous, and solid radioactive wastes. Every day, unknown amounts of radioactive isotopes are leaking into the groundwater and into the Hudson River. In 2007, the U.S. Geological Survey conducted a flow log analysis of selected test wells to help characterize the hydraulics of fractured zones in the bedrock underneath Indian Point. The work was completed in cooperation with the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, or NRC. The report, Flow Log Analysis for Hydraulic Characterization of Selected Test Wells at the Indian Point Energy Center, stated that radionuclides have been detected in groundwater. Cancer incidence rates in the four counties closest to Indian Point, Westchester, Putnam, Rockland, and Orange counties, have risen since the early 1990s relative to the national U.S. average, 7% higher according to Radiation and Public Health Project's 2010 report, and based on data from the New York State Cancer Registry and from the National Cancer Institute. The Radiation and Public Health Project study also found elevated rates for 19 out of 20 types of cancer, including thyroid cancer rates found to be 56% higher than the national average. My diagnosis uh, was uh, papillary thyroid cancer. The fact that I was diagnosed at age 26, given the fact that it can take a decade to develop, it was likely that I uh, contracted uh, thyroid cancer uh, during my teenage years. And, you know, God knows what I absorbed through the, through the water when we would have fun in the Hudson and capsize our boat and sail across to, this, uh, uh, to the Palisades here where we're standing now. Uh, as a young adolescent, uh, you know, Indian Point One was still, uh, uh, I think, went into, uh, uh, went into operation in 1962 um, and out of operation in the early or mid-70s. Um, I was probably swimming downstream uh, as, a, as a crow flies or as a fish, uh, you know, swims. It's maybe 10, 10 miles or so from Indian Point. And uh, I, I feel like I was contaminated as a result of, of Indian Point, uh, you know, being where it is. So, you know, I'm obviously concerned about myself and the, the effects, the, the lifelong effects that thyroid cancer have had on my life. but. Um, this region, which is so dear to me, and, uh, and my family is here, and um, you know, I just, I can't fathom what would, what would happen to people here if, uh, if Indian Point were to, uh, to have either a, a large-scale event or continue to exist on the basis that it has, uh, you know, where low-level radiation is being released and people don't even know it. When nuclear plants were being built in the 1970s, the thinking was that the U.S. federal government would secure the spent radioactive fuel rods in one location. The Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository was to be a deep geological storage facility for spent nuclear reactor fuel and other high-level radioactive waste until the project was defunded in 2011. This leaves United States civilians without any long-term storage site for high-level radioactive waste, which is currently stored on-site at various nuclear facilities around the country. As a result, Indian Point and other nuclear plants are burdened with long-term storage for ever-increasing amounts of radioactive waste, creating environmental and security hazards in our local communities. Clearwater is fighting to close the aging, leaking Indian Point nuclear power plant, which has reached the end of its 40-year operational lifespan. Entergy is currently applying to renew its license for an unthinkable 20 years. 
which will create additional nuclear waste that must be stored at the facility. Clearwater needs your support in this battle. Write your legislators and let them know that this aging, dangerous, leaking plant needs to be closed now. Visit www.clearwater.org for more information and join the campaign to close Indian Point.